Hello everybody, welcome back to another castle. My gamer tag is I'm Leet Mando, and this week I have for you some Kingdom Hearts news. Steam announces their new family share system. I squee a little about the new Harry Potters. LG ups their prank game. And of course, my strategy guide for dating a gamer. So let's just get started. First off in the Kingdom Hearts world, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix was released in North America September 10th. Now if you haven't played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, I don't know what's wrong with you. Maybe you don't like Disney, maybe you don't like Final Fantasy, maybe you just don't like having fun period. But if you want to get started in the Kingdom Hearts games, this is a really good place to start. 1.5 Remix is an HD remastered collection of Final Mix, Chain of Memories, and then a cinematic version of 358 over two days, which feature new fights and new scenes that were not in the original versions. Plus, this is the first time that Final Mix has been released in North America. I absolutely love the Kingdom Hearts games. I mean, come on, my cats are named Kyrie and Namine. Plus, I picked this up and I don't even own a PlayStation 3. Just had to have it. Square Enix has just done a really good job giving players a very large universe to explore while incorporating very familiar Disney and Final Fantasy characters. Plus, getting to hop into the Hundred Acre Woods book is way cool. I've been a little bit bummed since the 10th because Amazon didn't actually deliver my order until the 14th, and you might be wondering why I'd be bummed because I don't have a PlayStation 3 to play it on, but that's the art book. The art book is really cool. There are a couple of vellum pages that show concept art versus actual art. Plus, apparently Sora was supposed to have a tail. I'll admit though, Amazon did come through in the end and I am a happy camper with my art book. However, something that doesn't make me a happy camper is the news that Kingdom Hearts 3 probably won't be released for a very long time. And this makes me both sad and happy. Of course I want to play Kingdom Hearts 3 sooner rather than later, however I'm very happy that Square Enix is not going to put out a half-ass game. Fans have been waiting a very long time for the conclusion of the trilogy, and it's really nice to know that they are trying their very best to not disappoint us. Let's move on to one of my favorite companies in the gaming industry. Valve has announced that they are currently beta testing their family share system for Steam. With this system, Steam users will be able to share their library with up to 10 devices. Borrowers will be able to access your entire library as well as DLC content. However, only one person can access a library at any time. So say you want to log in and play one of your games, but someone is currently borrowing one. When you log in, it'll give them a prompt to either log out or purchase the game for their own library. There will be a couple of restrictions, as in the region or subscriptions that are necessary to play certain games. Okay guys, let's move on to something that doesn't have that much to do with the gaming world. I agree, it might just a little bit, and that's how I'm getting this in. If you know me, you know that I am a total Potterhead, which of course means that I have been fangirl squeeing ever since I found out about the new film series that Joe Rowling is penning with Warner Brothers. This new film series will take place earlier in the Potterverse and will focus on Newt Scamander, the author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Joe has said that this film series is not meant to be a prequel to Harry Potter, it's just meant to expand the wizarding world. There are two things that I'm already fangirling over about this film series. One is that it's going to start off in New York, which means we're finally going to see how the wizarding world affects America. Two is that it focuses on a Hufflepuff. And I'll give you four guesses as to what my house is, but I think you only need one. And of course, since this is a Warner Brothers production, it's not going to just hit the big screen. Well, we all know you better than that. Not only will Fantastic Beasts be incorporated into their video games, but also consumer products as well as enhanced links on Pottermore. I'm a little curious to see if this film series will affect at all the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Florida. I'm kind of hoping that it does a little bit because then I have an excuse to go back. But at the very least, I'm excited to see anything that's going to come out of this film series. I love what Joe Rowling does. I love the Harry Potter world. And of course, the new collection of Harry Potter films that I just ordered is probably going to be a little lonely on the shelf. So I could probably put Fantastic Beasts right next to that. All right, let's just stop the Potter talk here and move on to my achievement badge. I will admit to you that I'm a sucker for smart pranks, which definitely rules out the show ridiculousness on MTV. Instead, I like the things that people are doing with LG screens. I loved the LG elevator prank, where pranksters replaced the floor of an elevator with several LG screens, and then made writers think that the floor was falling out beneath them. I probably would have peed my pants had I been in there. But their latest prank has totally upped the game. With the latest large LG screen, 
Pranksters replaced a window with this TV and then conducted interviews in that room. And then they played a video that made interviewees think that a comet was crashing down to Earth and the world was ending. I'll admit the CG is a little bit crappy, however it must have been convincing enough considering that the reactions that they get from people is absolute terror. The only thing that I hope is that the people that they interviewed for these jobs actually got the position, otherwise it's kind of a little bit cruel to put them through this. Plus, can you imagine doing an interview after this happens to you? You'd probably request that the room have no windows. Either way, I thought that it was hilarious, so congratulations guys, you've earned my LOLs achievement badge. All right guys, let's move on to my strategy guide for dating a gamer. So for those of you dating those of the non-gamer type, let your significant other a little bit closer so I can share some knowledge with you. My tip this week for you is to listen intently whenever we mention a release date. If there is something that we are highly excited about, learn the release date and then plan something for yourself on that day and the entire week after. Maybe go camping, maybe spend some time with your BFF, or just buy the latest season of Grey's Anatomy and a bottle of wine and lock yourself away for the week. Whatever it is that you decide to do, I can guarantee that it's a lot better than trying to drag us away from our new precious game. My precious. Yeah, something like that. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you this week. Remember that if you did like this show, give it a thumbs up, comment about it in the section below, like us on Facebook, tweet with us on Twitter, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. We have a new show called Heart Container that will be coming out. If you have any gaming questions or requests about achievements, anything really, please tweet to NLTB Heart. That's no lag till Brooklyn heart. We would really appreciate that. And remember that if you have any questions for me, you can tweet me at LeapMando, that's 1337Mando, and I'll see what I can do for you on the next show. Thanks guys, I will see you next week. <laughs>